everyone and welcome back to our channel, your go-to place for tech tutorials and software walkthroughs made simple. In today's video, we are diving into Practice Fusion, the cloud-based EHR platform that's trusted by independent medical practices across the country. Whether you're a brand new user or just need a refresher, this guide will walk you through the essentials of scheduling appointments, billing patients, and charting medical records all in one streamlined system. So we will go step by step th through the dashboard, show you how to manage your calendar, create patient charts, and even take care of claims and billing. If you are ready to make Practice Fusion work smarter for your clinic, then let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do, visit the official website of Practice Fusion. On the top corner, you have the option to log in using your credentials. But of course, we all know that the better option is to click the free trial button or click the start your risk-free trial. What will happen is you will be forwarded here. It's very simple. Just provide all the information needed, no credit card required. And from there, just follow the on-screen instructions. Now, the next thing is you just have to follow the on-screen instructions, such as agreeing to all the terms and conditions, all right? Now, after that, you can choose to add your practice users. But for now, I want you to click the blue button, which gives us the ability to explore the EHR platform. What will happen is you will be forwarded here. And do not be overwhelmed with all the things that you can see because we are going to explain all these one by one. It's very simple because we have been using um, Practice Fusion for quite some time. So let's start with the... Um, now, the home page is going to be the dashboard with quick access to all of these tools, right? It's a good starting point for navigating this system daily. Since this is a newly created account, we don't have yet anything in place like appointment reminders, messages, and alerts. But as you may notice, you have access to tools during your free trial, all right? Like EHR users, labs, imaging centers, um, e-prescribing online profile, and a lot more. The uh, This one right here needs um, a subscription plan. So we're going to skip that. Instead, I want you to add your first users here. Okay, let's add the first name. So, for example, we're going to be putting in something like and Then you can put in the login email, for example, um, in this instance, we're going to try to put in a different email. Okay, so we have that access level. Is it going to be like a staff, nurse, or these it's up to you then i'm going to add this okay and click the add user it's very simple now going back again to the main homepage, there's going to be the option for you to add your labs you can send orders and receive results in your ehr i want you to click on it and then there's going to be some options here if you want to add your sp specimen collection all right or maybe um, your PSC, courier, mail order, you have all of these options for you to add. It's up to you, all right? I'm not gonna uh, deal with this because if you don't or not get familiar with these, just skip that, but I'm giving you the options that you can add your labs here in Practice Fusion. That's gonna be your vendor. And then the Imaging Center, if you want to connect that, you have also that option, okay? So with this, you have the ability to have like um, x-ray, CD scan, mammography, CDA, and ultrasound. You have all these options. So let's say you wanted to add the paper orders, electronic results. I want you to click on the ad right here. And you need to connect your ad, your account here. All right. That's going to be the imaging account number. So you need to provide all of the information needed. As well as the um, e-prescribing, if you want to set that up, it's up to you. You can, before you get started, you need to provide all the prerequisites, okay? Now, if you want to set up an online profile, you can do that as well. You can edit your profile. Let's do that right now. And as you may notice, we have very succe uh, succeeded to uh, edit our profile. Let's say 
we have that if you want to get your link you can do that here and click the save button all right title is going to be um save for now let's do that and click on save we're going to go back to the main home page after up updating your online profile you might want to go to the um uh, explore billing solutions all right if you have an existing billing system you can do that or if you want to integrate the new uh, new bill system, click the checkout billing uh, systems. You have all these sections that you can use. All right. For example, practice uh, Veridime, Collaborate, Tebra, and a lot more. So I'll leave that to you. And then there's going to be the option for insurance eligibility, customer support, direct messaging. But this is kind of like your go to direct messaging for clients per patient and a lot more all right when i go back here again the, in the main home page now i'm gonna very quickly click the open marketplace because these are going to be some services that you might want to integrate practice fusion into all right so you have all these 2c health and a lot more um ameritag analytica asha health and a lot acadia so basically, there's a lot. These are going to be third-party services and softwares that can help you um, automate tasks and workflows here in Practice Fusion. All right. And then after that, we're going to go to the sections here. After going to the main homepage, we have the schedule. The schedule is going to be the appointment calendar to book, view, and manage um, patient appointments. All right. You can set by day by week and settings if you want to add an appointment let's do that say for example let's search for a patient we don't have any patient here but if you want to add a new patient okay so we need to add an email um, email here let's say in this instance the email is this Click the save patient. And once you've done that, save the patient right here. And then you would be able to schedule an appointment. It's very easy. And then that leaves us to the tasks because of the tasks is going to be the centralized location for all to do's and follow ups. All right. So you can add a new task here, for example. Assign it to assignee, to your uh, team member, to your staff, or even providers, and click the save button. So tasks are typically related to um, refill requests, lab result reviews, chart of sign off, phone messages that you can assign tasks to individual staff or providers or even to yourself. And then the chart contains all the patient medical records. And if you want to add a patient right here, you can do so. You can access patient demographics, like for example, for Cindy. Uh, Cindy Cindy, the history, vitals, labs, and medications. It enables providers to document visits, order labs, e prescribe, and more. It supports templates, favorites, and structured data input for faster documentation. All the while, you have the access to the messages where you can have secure internal communication hub within the practice. You can send messages among staff, for example, um, right here. So that it helps manage refill requests, patient questions, and coordination of care. And last that I'm going to discuss is going to be the reports wherein you can run clinical, operational, and financial report. You have all of these options for you. All right. It helps in practice monitoring compliance and, of course, with your data-driven decisions. And with that being said, and that wraps up our beginner's guide to using Practice Fusion. If you are a small to mid-sized practice, Practice Fusion can be a solid choice, especially with its cloud-based convenience, intuitive charting tools, and easy appointment scheduling. While it might not have all the advanced features of some larger EHR systems, it's a great start point for providers who want simplicity without sacrificing quality. If you found this video helpful, do not forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you won't miss our upcoming tutorials on other healthcare tools. If you have any questions or experiences with Practice Fusion, drop them in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. And as always, thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.